Pipes did another The Dead Bird 2 Bear Review. It's time for me to have one of my very favorite beers from Stone Brewing Company at Escondido, California, and Richmond, Virginia, USA. Bay. Yay, yay. And what beer is that? It's there. Enjoy by Unfiltered. This time it's the 7417 version. This is a DIPA. It's a rotating serving clock set at 9.4% ABV and 90 IBUs. Now, in this beer, you may recall if you have had this before or watched one of my previous uh, reviews of said Enjoy by Series. They're using 12 hop types in this beer. Which 12 hop types, you say, DJ? Well, let's roll them off. They're using Nugget, Super Galena, Simcoe, Delta, Target, Amarillo, or Amarillo if you prefer, Cascade, Galaxy, Citra, Nelson Savan, Motueka, and Helga. That's a dozen of awesomeness, isn't it? So, you know what? This beer is exceedingly fresh. It is nine days old at time of recording. That's as good as you get. So, this around here, I don't know if this was created in Richmond or it was done out in Escondido, but you know what? We're gonna find out. Let's crack the top on it. Ah, uh, get in the snefta and tell you what's up with Enjoy by Unfiltered 7417. Mm-mm-mm. Nice. I've earned it today. The workout's been put down. You know what? That's my policy. If you watch my, you know, uh, frequently asked beer questions or beer reviewer questions, that is. Um, you know what? No workout, no beer. My policy. Anyways, works for me. Oh, so, yes. Oh, we're going to talk about the appearance now. This is an unfiltered beer, but it's like not super hazy like some of the, uh, you know, super haze bombs that you get out of the New England IPAs. We've got a solid half finger of super tightly packed white bubbles. We probably would have had more head generated if I would have poured a little more aggressively, but I didn't. Tons of alcohol legs are clinging to the inside of this glass. And I suspect since this is a stone beer and pretty much every stone beer I've ever had has nice glass lazy, I'm going to surmise this will probably have the same. Take a look at that, though. This is lovely and delicious. And you'll notice, look, it's canned now. That's right. Stone is on the bandwagon of canned, even with their unfiltered Enjoy By series. And the rest of them, I guess, is going to you know go that way. Also, it's a 12-ounce serving like it has been before. I think 12 ounces is a good size for this. Okay, so, but, oh, yes, we were digressing there. <laughs> Not a surprise. A beer like this has got to smell awesome, too, especially with 12 hops in it. Let's dive in for the aroma. Mm, West Coast, baby. Big pine, big tropical fruit, citrus. Man, juicy, juicy smell. Mm, big dankness rolling up as the head recedes more. Tons and tons of resinous, piney dankness. Man, I love dank beers. That's one of the things I like best about Enjoy By is its dankness. Herbaceous hop notes, basil, grassiness, pine, just all front to back, big up in your grill, zesty citrus. Man, smells freaking delicious, and I'm right thirsty. Oh, not a hint of alcohol or only aroma as well. So let's dive in. Cheers! Yeah, just like I remember it. Mmm. Big, up in your grill, West Coast IPA. Tons and tons of resinous hops, piney, citrus zest blasting at you. Man, it's super fresh like this is. Nine days on a canned beer is definitely, in my opinion, super fresh. It's not like a day old. People, oh, not a day old, but whatever. Nine days is awesome. But, man... It's got a building bitterness in the back end. You expect that with a beer like this. The 9.4% is totally hidden. I get a little warming in the chest. That's it. No taste. Uh, you know, no alcohol in the taste. Nothing phenolic. None of that stuff going on. But it's all about big, herbaceous, citrus, tropical, fruity, resinous, piney hops up in your grill. And it's all those flavors, like, all at once, like, assaulting your palate. Man, super tasty. Lovely glass lacing, just like I thought. Super smooth, easy to drink, unfiltered version of this is my favorite. I think the unfiltered nature of the beer almost takes some of the edge off of the bite that you get in regular Enjoy By, which isn't a bad thing, but it's a pine, more like harsh, piney, bitter bite in the back end that seems to be softened a little bit in this, though don't get me wrong, there's plenty of bitterness. I don't know if I feel 90 IBUs, but you can tell there's a lot of alpha acids in this brew going on, man, and man, it's just tasty. I love the dankness of it. That, as you drink it more, the dankness builds on your palate, and I really like that dank sort of resinous thing going down. Man, just tasty. For me, unfiltered is the way to go with Enjoy By. So, 
you hear me digging this beer. We've got to grade it now. I don't remember what I graded it before, but I'm sure it was into the A level, shy A level kind of thing going on. Um, beer Advocate gives this 97. And Untapped is giving this 4.12 caps, which is definitely into their high A range going towards that A plus zone. I'm going to go 97 also. Just a really super tasty, quintessential sort of West Coast IPA. Um, I would drink it again, as you can see. <laughs> I am really, truthfully telling you I will drink it again because we've got the previously consumed bottle from, ooh, when was that? Shit, 2016, so over a year ago we had this. But, man, super tasty beer. Almost, <laughs> like, crazily crushable for 9.4%. But if you get into a, I think they sell this in six packs of cans, you get into that a little bit too too uh, hardcore, you can go night-night early probably. So, unless you're an alcoholic and shit. But, anyway, that's another story. So, <laughs> Have you had Enjoy By Unfiltered 7417 or any of the other times they put it out? Oh, well then let me know what you know because you know I'm digging the quid pro quo and, and the back and forth. I also think it's really awesome if you could do me a big favor and think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. And follow that up by doing me another favor and rating, commenting, and subscribing. And when you get a chance, smash in that like button because that, along with only one can, that's right, that's all I need of Enjoy by Unfiltered 7417 to put my big ass stone beer drinking happy face on. So to the next DJ Brew 2, I got nothing but a hell of a bunch of Enjoy by Drinking Love, and you know what's coming for you. Hell yes, that's right, a big ass, a piece of ass!